move to Fargo because the mighty Bison just keep rolling. Ah, it's a chilly morning in this football hotbed. Another party here in the High Plains. Their beloved Bison are back in town with a brand new banner to hang. Back to back to back FCS titles and another bruising beatdown of a Big 12 team. So game day's back as North Dakota State welcomes the Cardinals of the University of Incarnate Word. In other words, it's the word versus the herd. ESPN College Game Day. Championships. They're getting every vote for number one except one in the current poll. Every seat in the Fargo Dome all season long is yeah. sold out. They take a back seat to no one. The passion for their team here in Fargo. We saw it a year ago and we had to come back to prove it wasn't a fluke last time. <laughs> Welcome, Desmond Howard, yeah. Chris Fowler, Kirk Herbstreet. And the high plains pimp. <laughs> Lee Corso's in the building. Hey, wait a minute. I'm wearing bison by Corso. Oh, it's Is that who you're wearing this morning? Yeah, I said that. He weighs about 50 pounds. Oh, man, he's hey, heavy. Can I, can I borrow that and go to the fight tonight in Vegas? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Matt Lamar would be very happy. Yeah. Matt Lamar's our, he's our rap artist. Oh, yeah. He's a, <laughs> artist, he's a tailback for, yeah. for Fargo. Hey. <laughs> we, we said this last year. This is not a, a pat on the head for yeah. kind of a cute story in college football. They've they beaten five straight against FBS. Yeah. Had 34 yeah. unanswered points yeah. against Iowa State yeah. when 
Some, yeah, doubted that would happen up here. They changed coaches. What were we to do? You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah, that's right. Listen, it's great to be here because we're football junkies, right? And in Fargo, they're building a football dynasty. There's no doubt about that. And North Dakota State University isn't relevant because we're here. We're here because their football program is very relevant in the landscape of college football. Yeah. Much respect. Yeah, no doubt, Des. And for people that are not familiar with their program, think of an Alabama type of program for the FCS. See, these guys have won three straight championships. You see the fan base around us this morning. They'll be even more fired up when the, when the herd take the field. So it's great to be here. It's always great to be in front of this crowd. Isn't it? I'm looking forward to seeing my name soon. Oh, yeah. So the bison, of course, uh, you know, he has grown up since last year. Has he? He weighed 285 pounds. He now weighs 735 oh pounds. Whoa. <laughs> Hope we get to see him later. He, yeah. You will. <laughs> He must have been on steroids. Oh, that's big. Holy <laughs> mad that's one year. Oh, that's don't don't let him see you in that coat. He, one of his cousins right there. <laughs> we'll visit with the new coach, Chris Kleiman, because Craig Bowl took off yeah. to Wyoming with yeah. his three championships. There are some new faces around here. We'll highlight the Bison program. And Incarnate Word out of San Antonio, Texas, may find out why. Yeah. The Fargo Dome, with all these lunatics inside, is a very, very tough place for visiting. Yeah. Check it out. Now there's no doubt how the Dane Day crew makes them scream out loud. Do a packed house, the show that'll keep you on the edge of your seat. Breaking down the matchup with powerhouse. You're mixed up with foul or show. Dad, David, and Thurl. You know ESPN is putting in that work. Like fourth and go, get ready to play. Time to 